What did you say his power level is? It's over 9,000! 9,000?! There's no way that can be right! It can't! Hi everybody, and welcome back to the Metatiller YouTube channel. Today, we're jumping into our Get Dressed With Me series. We've seen Link from Legend of Zelda, Akuma from Street Fighter, Kakashi from Naruto, and an Adeptus Auroritas from Warhammer 40k. Now, for these next two videos, we're gonna be doing, they're a little bit special. We asked you, the audience, to help us pick. We ran a poll on our Discord channel, and you picked Vegeta from Dragon Ball Z, and the Plague Doctor from Darkest Dungeon. So these assets I pulled from DeviantArt and Sketchfab from different artists to kind of get this to work together. Right now, we're going to jump into our Vegeta video first, and we're going to take a look at how we created Vegeta and take a look at that in MetaTailor. Make sure you like and subscribe down below and join us on our Discord community for more polls like this one. Let's go ahead and jump into it. All right, here we are in the MetaTailor app. I'm going to go ahead and hit New Project and type in Vegeta because that's the first one we're starting with here. Here is our avatar. We're going to import an asset. We're going to pick his most famous asset, the one that's most recognizable. We're going to start with his armor. Here is his armor, and this armor is a little unique. It has three textures, so I'm going to start with the outer texture first, which is our armor lines. And grab the texture map for that, and look at that. Because it adds this cool kind of like cell shading line work to it. And then I'm going to come up to my armor itself and just add those yellow pads. Ta-da! Look at that. And he's got his tail there, so I'm going to grab our tail and add some color for our tail. The next step. It's almost there, it's calling it a jacket. I'm gonna call it a shirt. And let's just scale it. Let's scale this up a little bit. Oh, that's fitting really nicely almost right off the bat. Let's move that back a little bit. And we only need to hit about 60% for Meta Taylor to work its magic. I'm just gonna to touch it up a little bit that way. A little bit forward. There we go, that's sitting really nice. Let's go ahead and hit confirm. Next step. And there we go, let's go ahead and add one more asset. Import, cloth accessories. There's his armor, let's go ahead and start with his pants. These already have the textures applied to them, they're working well. Let's go ahead and hit next step. Call these ones our pants. Next step. And I'll move them up a little bit higher. I'll scale them out a little, scale them out uniformly a little bit more, just so that part's kind of clipping right there. That's looking good. What's neat is these are much more muscular legs than our character. So I wonder, confirm, start pose match, how it will make it look. Ooh, ooh Vegeta, there we go, regular Vegeta. Once we get that in there. And once again, it just needs about 60% match. Give them some pretty big feet. Not a big deal that they're out that way. That's not gonna really, you know, it might affect one thing. So I'll pull them back forward. I'm thinking it might twist the ankle. I don't even wanna risk it. I don't wanna test it. Confirm, next step. They're trying to go over the armor. Let's go ahead and bring them below that armor. They're sitting and making him look like he has really beefy legs. Let's go ahead and hit that with a global shrink wrap. All right, it still gives him that muscle definition peeking out the back there. Um, so let's go back to our tools. Shrink wrap. A little bit less. There we go. That's looking even a little bit less. I'm trying to take that out. There we go. That's looking really good. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and import the rest of this and we can take a look at the finished product. And there we have it, a completed Vegeta character. You can see we got our scanner, our bodysuit, our boots, our armor, our tail, and our hair. All brought in in the same way. That's it for our Vegeta video. Thank you so much for watching. And this truly shows that Meta Tailor is the kit bash app for avatar creation. I pulled these assets off of Sketchfab, DeviantArt, all over the web to bring this Vegeta outfit together. I got them ready in Maya, brought them into Meta Tailor, and they work on any avatar. So once again, make sure you like and subscribe down below to see more videos like this one, or join our Discord community and show us your cool creations, or join in for future polls like this one and show us what you want to see. That's it for today. Thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Whoa, how did he do that?